So I'm here at Alkampf uh, with Rene Ritchie from iMore and uh, this is uh, yeah, WWDC 2014, by the way, kind of sponsored by, uh, this time I removed the t-shirt, but usually I have the Objective Cologne t-shirt, which is going to be rebranded, as you know, in SwiftConf, um, uh, which is uh, one of the things we're going to speak about, this new, brand new language, so you heard, it's the revolution for us developers. Yeah, it came out of nowhere, I think very few people were expecting it. Yeah. It's actually funny, I, have a, I know someone who actually last week told me, um, I heard Apple is working on a new language, and I was like, what? And, but it, I had never heard that before, and I didn't really know if it was true or whatever. Well, they've been working, they, were, they had like three projects going yeah. on, and this one started four years ago, and it, just, it was the one they ended up going with, and I think it was a real smart choice. Yeah, well, so yeah, that, that's kind of amazing, and a bunch of other stuff, actually, that, that none of us were uh, expecting, uh, like a new Xcode, like, uh, what is it, one year or, or one and a half year after the previous one? Yeah, and I like the new Xcode a lot, because a lot of people grew up being able to code as children, but Objective-C is a lot of programming language you can put in elementary school, but with something like like Swift, it's something like Playground, you can start teaching kids again. You can you can bring them into programming in something that's going to be a hugely popular platform. Yeah, I've heard from um, from some other people being uh, at WWDC that um, Apple is pushing a lot storyboarding. I mean, we've seen even storyboarding now on on, uh, on OS X. So, what do you think? You think it's it's their direction? Well, I, I think Apple tests a lot, and I think they try stuff and they get feedback, and if it works, they push it forward. If it doesn't, they sort of quietly let it die. Yeah. But I think all these things that make it uh, more visual, more accessible, easier for people to do programming, I think benefits everybody. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of amazing. Uh, the other thing that we saw, which I think is really cool, is this uh, continuity mm -hmm. thing. That is for that is going to be a really a, an amazing stuff for, for most of us. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it's great. I think it makes the cloud disappear. You don't have to go to like Google.com, log in on one machine, go to on another machine. It takes all the overhead away. It makes the cloud invisible. All you're doing is your stuff, your work. It doesn't matter what device you're on. You, you're at your computer, you walk away, you're on your phone. And that's the kind of experience that we want. Yeah, speaking of cloud, I have a rule of thumb as a developer to know which framework from Apple I should use or not. If it involves a uh, network, uh, don't use it, because Apple is not that good in web. That's how I see it. Now there's CloudKit. What should we think about it? I think CloudKit is, a, I think core data was a problem because it, as someone who like, has experience with databases, the idea of syncing core data makes me want to scream because it's just it's way too complicated. There's just no way to do that kind of like optimistic merging. But you have something like CloudKit where it's a key value store. You can put blobs in it. It's a much simpler model, and that probably means it's a much more robust model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's a lot of good stuff. I mean, you've been to a, a few WWDC already. Uh, I mean, do you see it just like me that it's, it's the first time I see so many stuff so packed? Because uh, it's really a lot. It's like a combination of the iOS 2 SDK event and the iOS 4 event where it was like a big package for developers but also done, 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 done user features, yeah. you know, like a checklist. Speaking about developers and users, normal people watching the keynote uh, probably think it's kind of weird that last part, you know? Like this whole technical stuff about excitement about new LLVM or whatever. Chris Latner on stage during a public keynote is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really cool. All right, thank you for being with us and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you for having me. See you soon. Cheers.